Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and we're back for another Sunday Sew Along. We've been going through tutorials this summer um, and we'll be doing tutorials all the way through the end of August and then once September hits we're actually going to be doing some pattern hacking on our Sunday Sew Along. So very exciting. Okay today I am showing you how to do a full bust adjustment on a princess seam bodice as well as um, I have a hair pa, pa, pa. <laughs> how to raise and lower the apex of a princess seam um, the fullness you know so basically the apex of it um, up or down if you need to basically if you were doing it in a dart if you needed to raise or lower the dart it's the same type of thing now princess seams are much more forgiving than darts because there's not like a point that's <laughs> pointing directly at the fullest part of the bust but you still may need to adjust it up bless you if you get to adjust it up or <laughs> down um which most of us are in the down camp um depending on you know where if you're noticing like a lot of fullness above the bust that means you need to raise it if you're noticing a lot of fullness um below the bust wait no if you're not noticing a lot of fullness in, in the fabric above the bust that means you need to lower it to fit your bust you need to lower the bust art on the opposite side, if you're noticing a lot of fullness below your fullest part of your your um, your bust, then you need to raise that. So that kind of, if you're doing a muslin, that's kind of how you figure that out. Um, I'm using the Cashmere at Upton um, Princess Seam Bodice, just because I had it on hand. <laughs> it was out, so I just grabbed it and traced it off and real quickly um, used that. I have used contrasting paper, hopefully that's helpful this time, and a marker so you guys can see a little bit easier the lines. But as always, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'm happy to answer those um, as soon as I can. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel and this type of content, um, I do have a coffee jar, which is like a virtual tip jar. Uh, there's a link down in the description box below. Um, if you'd like to help support the channel, all the money that I raise from there goes right back into the channel. It's, you know, my lights, my equipment, maintenance on the things and all that kind of stuff. Um, very helpful for the tutorials and the teaching type of videos. All right, that's all I have for today, guys. Let me know again if you have any questions. I'll answer them as soon as possible and I will see you guys again on Tuesday. Bye. All right, let's do a full bust adjustment, um, or it could also be a small bust adjustment. You would just do everything backwards on a princess seam. I'm using colored paper so that I can back things so you can see them um, on both pieces. Okay, I have got here the um, princess seam bodice for the cashmere at Upton, just because I, I had it nearby, <laughs> so that's what we're using. I actually don't need a full bust adjustment on this one, but we're gonna pretend that I do, um, because, yeah, because I just had this one. Okay, so with a princess seam bodice, you will have a side piece that will be the really curvy piece. And you will also have your um, center piece usually. So this is what we're sewing the princess seam into and it will be the straighter of the two lines. So we have a really curvy line going into a really straight line. Most of the stuff we're doing today is on this piece. So we're just gonna set this one aside for right now. But we do have to adjust for that. All right, so here is our um, curved side piece or side front. Now, cashmere patterns are really great because they do have your three um, reference points here, which makes sewing them so much easier because this is a very curvy um, seam that you are sewing into a very much, I mean, this does have curve to it, but a much straighter seam. A lot of easing that goes into this. Um, but we're going to pretend that I need a little bit of a full bust adjustment. Now, my upper bust measurement is 36 inches. Let's pretend that my full bust measurement is 42 inches. Okay, so I have a six inch difference between my upper bust and my full bust. Um, and I'm using a full bust piece. It's already here. Um, but let's say that the finished measurement on this is... Um, 42 inches, but my bust is 42 inches. So I need to do a little bit of a full bust adjustment. Now, um, I like to have personally at least two inches of ease at my bust just for ease of movement, um, especially if I have a sleeve in it. This is actually the sleeveless pattern piece for the, for the bodice, but which you can get away with a little bit less ease. Um, so maybe you would just need maybe 43 inches. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put 42 inches and in, or 44 inches into this one. So hopefully that makes sense. If my finished bust measurement is 
42 inches, but, or my full bust measurement's 42, but the finished bust measurement on this is also 42, and it's the biggest cup size that I can go to, then I am going to um, do a two inch full bust adjustment so I can give myself that two inches of ease, okay? So I'm gonna be adding one inch to this side, and then obviously that times two will give me two inches of extra ease across the whole thing. Okay, I'm also going to be using a marker so you guys can see better. <laughs> um, however, that being said, um, th don't use a marker when you're actually doing this. It's gonna give you a very thick line and um, you're not gonna be as accurate as you could be, so keep that in mind. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark in my seam allowance, which is a half of an inch, just along this bus curve. So yeah, if you're doing this in real life, I would use a pencil because um, it's just gonna be a much thinner line, a sharpened pencil. This is gonna be a thick line, which would make things a little less accurate. But I want you guys to be able to see. So this, um, pattern has a half of an inch seam allowance. A lot of curve here, folks. A lot of curve. All right. So on this one, I'll mark my notches here so you can see those a little better. On this, this is my apex. This is where my apex is, this middle um, notch that's right here. So that's the one we're gonna be working with as well. And my grain line, hopefully you can see my grain line is right here. All right, so first, it's very similar to just your regular full bust adjustment. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a, um, like a reference line because you know when we need to drop things down a little bit, we'll just go ahead and throw that in here. And then I'm gonna make a line just right here at the base of um, my seam allowance here. And I'm just gonna go, maybe. Uh, so this is perpendicular to that. It'll be parallel to my grain line, perpendicular to the reference line that I made. And we're just gonna make a line. All right. And then I wanna go, just like with a, a bust, there's a here. There's a just a side notch here. We're going to use that for our um, reference here. So I'm going from yes, okay. I'm going from my side notch, and you can arbitrarily pick a side notch here to go all the way. That's my apex. That's right there. So we're going to go all the way there. And then we're gonna to go to our armhole. So this is all probably looking very familiar. And then I'm gonna mark in my seam allowance. Okay. So I can put my cap back on my marker. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna go from the bottom up and then over don't cut all the way through your seam allowance then we're going to go from the side clip two but not through that so we have a hinge and then down clip two but not through that okay so now i'm just going to um tape down the this side here just to keep it from moving around on me and i'm just taping it you know right here in this little area okay so now i need a one inch doo -doo -doo, line because i'm adding one inch um full bust adjustment here and then we're just gonna just like you've done a full bust adjustment take this over here to meet this Now this side, we can go ahead and tape down. Look at that dart. All right, so this should all be looking familiar to you. And then we are going to, well here, hold on. I'm also gonna make a line where this is so that it's easy for me to reference. 
And then we're gonna our reference line here. All right. This is wanting to be very bleed all over the place on top of this tape. <laughs> Just a Crayola marker. All right, so we're gonna cut this piece down here and move it to where everything is nice and flush. All right, so, so far so good. Surely this is all looking pretty familiar. I'm just gonna tape down my edges here. Pretty familiar to you so far, but we're not done. Wait, there's more. Okay, <laughs> sorry. All right, so now what we're going to do so now we've got our full bust adjustment that's here and we'll be truing all this up in a minute. So now what we're gonna do is draw a line and don't worry about your dart point here. We're drawing our line from our dart leg over here to our um, apex, which is that dart or that notch that's over here. Just like that. And we have our seam allowance that's there. Oops, throwing marker lids. All right, and then we're gonna go cut, 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 cut to the seam line, not through it. And then over here, we're gonna cut from that notch, that same line to the seam allowance, but not through it. And now we're going to close our dart, but see, okay, so see when we're closing our dart, you see this jog that we have here? We don't want that jog. This is where I should have used thinner paper. We want this to match up, and you're going to have a lot of fullness there. That's okay. I'm just going to really quickly tape that so then our side seam is closed. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and cut through to release that, maybe, there we go, to release that excess. And we have a little jog that's here now. That's okay. Um, let me just stick a little piece under here. So we have like, you're basically, you've moved your dart to this seam line that's here. That is absolutely okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna true this whole line here. Now, the beauty of princess seams is that you don't have a singular point pointing to the fullest part of your bust. I am gonna show you how to raise and or lower um, the fullness that's here, but you have a lot more wiggle room than you would with a dart where it's pointing directly to the fullest part of your bust. So that being said, you can be a little, um, you can shave a little bit of this off and that is okay. You know, you don't need to have the whole thing here. So I'm just coming to a nice, cur I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be curvy folks, but, and I am going, I'm matching this, the sewing line, not my seam line. We will true that up here in a second. Okay. So now we still have our notch here and we'll still have our notch here because that, that didn't change, but then this is going to change. So now that I have my new sewing line and sorry, this is going to kind of bleed because it's, this is not wanting to mark on tape, but I can go back and draw in. that this is the cut line. Okay, so now, I keep wanting to put that on incorrectly. Okay, so now we can just true everything up. And our new center point notch. So let me just tape that down. Just makes that easier. 
It changes the armhole curve just a little bit. That's okay. You need that for that fuller bust. All right. So there's our new piece that's right here. And then I would just go through, and this isn't going to stay because it's on tape, but mark in my new notch that's right there. Okay. So that is our new piece. And hopefully that all made sense. Now, we need to adjust for our other piece that it gets sewn into. So we're gonna take two measurements. We are gonna measure this little area here, which is, and we're measuring at the um, sewing line, not the seam line, okay? And that is gonna be a quarter of an inch there, and then a full inch there. So we need to add length. So we're gonna be adding, and we're gonna use this as reference again. So at the middle um, notch here, let me just tape some of this down here. Okay, so at the center, we're gonna make a Lengthen and shorten line, and this is just going to be parallel. The fold is my grain line, so just make that. Okay, and then I'm going to add, so I my other lengthen and shorten is just a half of an inch down from my lower notch, so we're going to mark that half of an inch down from that lower notch, so we're going to have two lengthen and shorten lines. All right, so now at this one, remember at that top notch, we needed to just add a quarter of an inch. Let me go ahead and mark my fold line here. Okay, so we're gonna add a quarter of an inch at this first one. And then at this second one, we needed to add a full inch. All of the tape when you have a full bust, folks. <laughs> okay. All right, and then we're gonna add, come back here, marker. This here. Okay, and then it's just a matter of truing up your lines and then we cut that out okay so now and then I would just cut this all out again and then you've got you've done your one inch full bust adjustment for your um princess seam okay so now I'm going to show you how to do a um raise and lower your um apex that's what I'm trying to say all right so this is also very simple so what we are going to do is um with our <laughs> crazy piece here we've got our notches i'm going to make a um well here let me true up my i'm keeping my grain line stable with the top here because the bottom did get skewed okay so there's my grain line all right so i want to do parallel to my um grain line. I'm going to start here at this top notch and I'm just going to make a line that goes all the way down. And then I'm going to come over about at this bottom notch and make a line that is, I'm making a box. So I want a right angle there. Okay. So now let me get another piece of <laughs> some more colored paper. Hold on one second so you guys can see. 
Okay, hopefully that's better. All right, so now we're gonna cut out our little box here. And again, you probably aren't gonna have to adjust this much because there is quite a bit of, of give with a princess seam. But let's say you need to lower, um, so I've cut this completely out, but let's say that you need to lower the apex of your dart um, half of an inch. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just make a line, and you can figure this out like with your, like with a muslin. Just make a line half of an inch down. And I'm going to slide that down like so. Now, this could be used also if you were wanting to raise it a half of an inch. So if it needed to go up a half of an inch, and bless you, if that's the case, if you have to raise an apex, I'm very jealous. So it would be the same thing. Um, you're just raising or lowering. So we're going to go with what most of us have to have, and that is lowering. So we're just going to lower this down like so I've lowered it a half of an inch okay and now it's just a matter of truing this up if you don't have a um uh oh gosh what's this called a french curve in your stash you need one so now we're just gonna shoop True that up a little bit. Your darts will, your uh, notches will stay the same. You know, just transfer those up. That one stays the same. And then right here on this tape is going to be that bottom notch. And then it's just a matter of cutting it out. If you find that you are too pointy, oops, it helps if you're taped appropriately to your, what you're cutting out. Um, if you find that your um, point is just way too pointy, I mean, you can shave a little bit off. That is, should not be a big deal at all. So there you go. So you've now lowered the bust start by half of an inch. But wait, what about the other piece? <laughs> But wait, there's more. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing to here. So we're gonna make a box. Well, hold on, this is bothering me because it's slapping around. Okay, so now we are going to make, let me cut this out. We'll move on to the next piece of paper. We also have to adjust this piece so that everything fits together nice and neat. Okay. So now we need to lower this as well. So we are just gonna make, I don't know, um, I mean, we don't need to do a huge box. We'll just come in like right here. And I'm making this parallel to my grain line. And then we're gonna go across at the top notch. And at the bottom notch, just like we did for the curved piece. We're gonna just cut that box out. And we are lowering, lowering everything a half of an inch. So I'm just gonna mark that there. So now we are gonna just slide everything down that half of an inch. can put so you should have a half inch gap which we do 
And there you go. So then it's just a matter of truing that up, which you can really just kind of do that free-handed. And now we have lowered the apex by a half of an inch. Just like that. Super easy. I actually really enjoy pattern manipulation and alteration because it's got a very geeky math side that just really makes my brain happy. <laughs> so there you go. So on this princess seam bodice, we have done a one inch full bust adjustment and we have lowered our apex by half of an inch. So there you go. As always, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I will see you next time. Bye.